welcome to the installation video for the Analog Motor Goods Triumph Street Twin Retro Kit. Included in the kit, you get the Analog Motor Goods Triumph Street Twin Retro Kit and all the necessary hardware included for installation. For the installation, you will need a flat screwdriver, a T30 and T20 wrench, 8mm, 10mm, and 13mm sockets, 4mm and 5mm Allen wrenches, and a 10mm box wrench. Begin by using your key to remove the seat. Use the flat screwdriver to loosen the tabs holding the rear lighting wiring harness and seat cable to the fender. Disconnect the stock taillight wire harness by pulling small tab inside socket outward and gently pulling out harness socket. Using the T30 wrench, loosen the four bolts attaching the fender to the chassis. Leave one of the bolts in slightly to support the fender. Once all the bolts are loosened, remove the last one and support the fender while removing it from your bike, being careful not to drop it. Being careful not to scratch the top of the fender, use the T20 wrench to remove the three bolts securing the stock tailpiece wiring cover. We recommend you use the seat to set the fender on to avoid scratching it. Pull aside the stock wiring to reveal the two bolts holding the signal and license plate assembly. Use the 8mm socket to remove them. Lift out the fender liner, being mindful of the wires underneath. Disconnect the stock tail light harness connector. Separate the fender liner from the fender, being sure to mine the stock harness attached to the liner piece. Remove the last bolt holding the tail light to the fender. Your fender should look like this before beginning the retro kit install. Find the four original T30 bolts that were used to mount the fender to the frame and the four matching 6mm lock nuts and large washers from the kit. Using one of the T30 bolts, insert it into the stock location to make installing the fender easier. Position the fender and begin threading the nuts and washers onto the original T30 bolts in order to secure the fender loosely to the bike. Be sure the fender fits securely into the original T washers above it, making sure not to bind the fender with the new hardware. Use the T30 wrench and the 10mm socket to tighten the four fender mounting bolts. Locate the set of three matching 8mm bolts, washers, and nuts. Starting with the center hole, use the hardware to loosely attach the kit to the fender. Thread in the remaining two bolts, nuts, and washers, then tighten everything down. Position the retro kit wire loom along the left side of the frame and use the zip ties to secure it. Also reattach the seat release cable snap. Attach the retro kit harness to the stock plug. Test turn signals, hazards, running light, and brake light before moving on to the next step. Using the remaining hardware, install a bolt, a washer, and a nut into each top hole of the license plate. We used this analog blank for a demonstration. The license plate is installed with this nut acting as a washer to protect the wiring underneath then tighten everything down. With the two bolts on the top of the plate, mount the plate to the retro kit. Use a washer between all bolts and the locking nuts securing the plate. Tighten everything down. 
Now reinstall your seat, making sure the wiring is not in the way. Now get out and ride your bike. Also check out our custom Watson signal install as well to complete your custom lighting kit for your Triumph Street Twin.